My name is Ginny Dobson and I live on the Isle of Portland in Dorset, right by the sea. I'm a trauma specialist and I work part-time with the fire service. I was looking through my emails and one caught my eye immediately, uh, which was that the Free Yazidi Foundation had just got funding for a trauma specialist to work with Yazidi women who had uh, escaped from ISIS, Daesh, in um, Kurdistan. And I just thought, wow, what an opportunity. I had no idea what to expect, except uh, um, I wanted to help women and girls to stop being so frightened. My family, I was quite nervous to tell them because of course going out there isn't the safest of places and uh, so I didn't tell them until the last minute and then I was a bit nervous about telling my sons but yes they were behind me and of course I needed to know that. When I arrived women and girls were very shy and uh, so I said I'm shy and I was doing this and I was saying a little bit about myself, about my family. I had two little grandsons. That I was very angry when I heard what had happened to them, as the whole world is angry. Um, they had all witnessed uh, their families being killed, the men and boys were taken away, um, elderly women were taken away, and uh, we know that there's mass graves. So they all had had unbearable loss. And my question was, um, what is it that you really want to get from coming here? And I wrote it down, uh, to be able to sleep, to not have nightmares, maybe to make a friend. I saw them coming in like this, and I saw them coming in maybe by themselves, not knowing anybody, and uh, very quickly, uh, they made friendships, uh, they had a lightness about them. I have the most beautiful photo of uh, a young woman who would sit like this. She'd had the most terrible time. Beautiful picture where she's just jumping up for the ball and her whole body outstretched. And uh, you just saw the changes in her day each day. I was fortified each day by the, their humour, their strength, their aspirations bright, sparky, clever young women. Uh, I think I've been extraordinarily fortunate and privileged in having a glimpse, and more than a glimpse, of uh, nearly you know, 10 months with Yazidi people. Part of the funding for the post as, as trauma specialist uh, is from the UK, and uh, that is so important. For Yazidis, they know that the rest of the world is thinking about them, they're no longer isolated. These three girls, very proud to be Yazidi, and came in looking most beautiful in their traditional dress. Strong, clear who they are. <laughs> 